Today, I'm going to go through how to create a detailed financial statement quickly using Dynamics 365 Business Central. Now, with the system, it includes summary level financial statements, which are very helpful. However, you might want to have a financial statement that shows you each individual account number on a separate line so that you can see that detail supporting your summary financial statements. So what I'm going to do is first go over to our account schedules. So I'll go up to finance and then I'll go over to our account schedules here on the menu. And now you can see that right now we just have all the system uh, generated statements here. So we have this M income for our income statement. And if I wanted to print this, I could go up here to report and I could quickly print that. And what I'll do since I'm using the Kronos uh, test company, I'm going to use a, a date of January 2017 since we have a, a lot of test data out there for that. And then I'll hit preview. And you'll notice that we get a quick statement that has been automatically defined by the system based on the GL account categories that were assigned to the different chart of accounts. So if I wanted to see this kind of blown out at the detailed level and I want to quickly create one, what I can do is remain in account schedules and then I would go to new. And I'll name this one um, just detailed IS. And then I'm going to go up here at the top to edit account schedule. Now what I want to do is add all of our accounts. And of course, I don't want to add them one by one. So what I'll do is go over to actions at the top here on my ribbon and I'm going to insert GL accounts. You'll see that we can now see our entire chart of accounts. To quickly add these, what I'll do is I'm going to take advantage of our filter criteria up here. So I'm going to click over here on the menu here to filter by our account type. So I'm going to um, ask the window to only to display accounts that have income statement account type. So I now have all my income statement accounts. Uh, the next thing I can do is just click this uh, little ellipse button here and uh, hit select more. And I can hit the checkbox up here to mark all. So now I've selected all of the income statement accounts and I'll be able to click OK. After doing that, you'll see that it has now added uh, an account number for every single line. Now I could come back and I can make additional selections as well if I want to, um, you know, maybe I only want to show the account if it has a balance. So I could come in here and I could update these um, so that I only show it if it's not a zero and, you know, any other options or formatting that I want to make. Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty much ready to print my report at this point. Um, so I'm going to go back to uh, report here and I'll just click print. And I'm going to use the default column layout to get the net change and I'm going to use my uh, starting and ending date of January again in preview. So you see that I now have a detailed income statement where it's listing out every single account number rather than grouping them together. So if I go back to my account schedules, I now have my detailed income statement and I have my summary income statement as well.